Uh, good morning, my name is Joe Haslam. I am the uh, brand manager in the US for the 60 series cars. Uh, the 60 series is comprised by the S60, our sedan model, the V60, the V60, V60 is the wagon, and then of course the small crossover, the XC60. Now the, uh, the big news, as Lexus mentioned, that this is the year that we go to the 100% drive E powertrain. So all of the 60 clusters feature either a T5 or T6 powertrain. And um, the, the horsepower range, of course, is the T5 is a 240 horsepower engine. The T6 is a 302 horsepower engine, utilizing a turbocharger and a supercharger. And then, of course, we have the Polestar at the top end with the range of 362 horsepower. Now, a little bit about the S60 range. Uh, the S60 has basically three distinct personalities of car. It has the dynamic and R design, the inscription, the long wheelbase, added 2.9 inches of rear seat legroom, and then we have the cross country, which is the, uh, it has it added ground clearance of the crossovers. A bit about the dynamic strategy. So the dynamic is a car that is new for model year 17, and what we've done is we've taken elements of the R design, the uh, front bumper treatment, the rear treatment with the diffuser, the exhaust, and um, we've contented this car to be basically compete in kind of this new emerging segment, the Audi A3, the Mercedes-Benz CLA come to mind. So we essentially added a lot of components to the car. We added sports seat leather, sunroof, 18-inch uh, Dynacut alloy wheels with black, and then active by Xenon headlights. And we held the same price as we did last year. So we added quite a bit of content, held the same price, and when you look at the competition, this actually stacks up to be, be less expensive than a comparably equipped Mercedes-Benz CLA, and right at the same price league as an Audi A3 Premium Plus. Uh, and then, of course, we have the R design, which is the more sporty, sporty uh, execution with sport chassis and paddle shifters above that. The uh, inscription with this added wheelbase, it provides the uh, most rear seat legroom in this segment. It competes still with Mercedes-Benz C-Class Audi A4, the new A4 and the BMW 328 series. And then the cross country is a, uh, the, the S60 cross country is a unique car in the segment. And it's a uh, car that we've had a couple years now. It's, uh, it's it met sales, sales expectation, expectations. And um, it has uh, done quite well for us. In the V60 range, we have the T5, we have the R design and the cross country. At this event, we're focusing primarily on the cross country. But the volume within the V60 is the, uh, the T5 and the cross country, and they share about equal amount of volume of the, of the wagons. Now, on, moving on to the XC60, we have a dynamic inscription and R design, very similar to the execution that we utilize on the S60 range. The, uh, the dynamic and the inscription are priced at the same price level. They have the exact same MSRP. What we've done, we've increased the content of the cars uh, provided things that have the customers have wanted, such as blind spot information system, rear park assist camera. Um, those are all standard on the vehicle. It really comes down to a choice of execution. The dynamic is a little bit more of a sporty execution, a little more expressive, and the inscription is more focused on luxury, luxury appointments, such as the wood inlay in the interior. Now, about volumes, Lex mentioned the, uh, the importance of the 60 cluster. Of the two cars, the uh, S60 in its current itineration, its current, its current version, has sold about 115,000 units. The XC60 has been our best selling, uh, it's sold 133,000 units in its current life cycle stage. Now a little bit about the uh, specs that I'm going through, you're gonna be receiving a, uh, a jump stick that will have all the, the material, it'll have all the detail information, it'll have pricing and specifications, so you don't have to take too, too thorough notes on these. Um, I do want to touch a little bit more on the cross country. The, uh, the cross country is, um, has all sold over 200,000 units since we launched it in the US. It is that brand that has really become you know, very symbolic of Volvo, the perfect mirroring of the Volvo brand and, and image. Uh, and the reality of the cross country has even fostered you know, a unique owner base. There's the uh, volvocrosscountry.com, which is basically a uh, organic social network that we have not been involved in but they, uh, these are owners that got together and basically share stories and share information about the cross country. Uh, the cross country is the car that you'll typically see at a trailhead here in Colorado. These are cars that are for active people. These cars, these are extensions of people's lives. So you'll see these cars actually with battle scars where they're actually used in off-road conditions where they're, where they're used as an extension of an active lifestyle. The, uh, what makes the cross country basically uh, its proof points are they always have all-wheel drive, cross-countries always have hill descent control, 
They have 7.9 inches of ground clearance. Uh, that is actually more ground clearance than, than many uh, conventional SUVs in the market. So the cross country really does have some added capability. And then of course on the, uh, there are other exterior elements that speak to the protective nature where it has the uh, fender extensions, black, uh, black honeycomb grille, and then uh, protective skid plating. The cars that you're going to experience, uh, oops. You, we will have S60 Dynamics available for you, S60 Cross Countries, and V60 Cross Countries, and then we'll have XC60s that are all with the T6 all-wheel drive. So you'll have the opportunity to experience uh, between yesterday and today, basically, whatever version you, you would like to experience. A little bit about the drive route when we leave today. The drive route is going to be straight out and back, so we would encourage you to actually treat going out as kind of your scouting message to look, to look for the uh, photo opportunities where you'd like to take your photos, and then use that time as you come back to take the pictures. You'll have more time coming back than you will going out. We will be doing a driver swap at Tennessee Pass. This is actually a historically significant location. Uh, this is where the 10th Mountain Division, uh, the Army Infantry Division, trains. And in fact, the, uh, the, the gentleman that trained at this, uh, in the infantry mountain, the 10th, the 10th Mountain Division, they were uh, in, in World War II, they were in the theater in Italy and in Austria. So this is actually a historically significant place where we'll be doing the driver transition, and the lunch will be further down in uh, Crested Butte. Thank you.